So last week I bought a broken lens. Well, not so much broken as damaged. This is a Viltrox 56mm f1.4. I would say this video is a continuation from my last video, which was all about buying and using used gear instead of spending more money on the same gear by buying it new. The main reason why I bought this lens is because before buying it I only had one autofocus lens for my gear which wasn't ideal, especially when doing client shoots and stuff like that where if my Tamron 17 to 70 were to drop or break or whatever else, I didn't have any autofocus lenses that could take its place. So the previous owner told me that the lens rolled off the couch and by falling on the floor it got damaged where the aperture ring the aperture ring was extremely hard to turn i asked about autofocus performance and everything else and he said everything worked fine but that to use the lens you had to use the dial on the camera instead of using the aperture ring which for me wasn't really a big issue so i went on and bought the lens for a whopping 90 euros a brand new 56 mm 1.4 from wiltrox costs about 300 euros and used ones go from 150 to 200 so i was happy to pay about 60 to 100 euros less when it came in the lens was exactly as the seller said everything worked perfectly there was no issues with autofocus with anything else except for the aperture ring really not turning. I hate this. Anyways, I don't really care about the aperture ring on the old Viltrox lenses because usually from factory it turns too easily, at least for me, and the fact that it's not clicked also it's something I don't really like. But still, when the lens came in, I noticed there was a slight dent on the side, which I thought was probably the reason why the aperture ring wasn't turning. So I took it upon myself to risk losing the lens, took it apart, bent the metal back into place and now the aperture ring works it's still not perfect it's still much tighter than it was from factory but honestly it's in my opinion better than it was from factory because even if you use the aperture ring and not the dial now at least you won't bump it out of place and when you set an aperture it will stay at that aperture so for me an improvement on this lens there is a couple small scratches from me using the pliers to bend it back but again i bought this lens for 90 euros i don't think i'm gonna be selling it and even if i sold it i can probably get my money back and maybe make 10 euros on it so happy with that Him saying it rolled off the couch i don't really trust it because i used to own the 23mm f1.4 which has basically the same build quality, the same material and everything else. It is basically the same lens, just the glass is different and I've dropped it where it didn't really even get scratched. So I don't know, but I'm happy with the lens and I'm happy with the price I got it for. This isn't really a review of this lens because there's a million of them online. It's not the best lens. It's Definitely not the worst, but it could be much better. Chromatic aberration on, on these lenses is quite strong. The autofocus is not the best, but still for 90 euros, it's a damn good lens. Lastly, I would say keep an eye out for used gear for slightly damaged gear, because lenses like this are a great deal and you can't really beat it.